In this video, I will show you something I'm really excited about. I've been developing my first custom card for Home Assistant. I can't count how many emails and comments I've received about the Dashboard Tabs videos I've created before. So I decided to try to create a custom card that will make everything a lot easier. This is the first version, and I have a lot of ideas for the future. We need to start by getting the custom card installed. Grab the URL of the GitHub repository, then head over to Hacks. In Hacks, we need to add a custom repository. Click the three dots in the upper right-hand corner and select Custom Repositories. Paste in the URL and select the dashboard type. The repository should now appear in the list. You can now search for simple tabs and then click the download button in the lower right-hand corner. You can now head over to your dashboard to add the simple tabs card. I like to do all my editing in a temporary dashboard and then copy it over once I'm happy with everything. This way I avoid the risk of breaking anything. Click the add new button and search for simple tabs. The first thing you'll notice is that this card is YAML only. I will work on creating a UI editor, but for now it's only YAML. There are two methods for loading the content of the tabs. First, and default, is a lazy loading method. This could seem a bit slower on the first load, but it uses less CPU power overall. The second option is a preloading method. This is faster, but it might consume more power from your CPU. I probably recommend using the lazy load method if you have live camera feeds, big maps, and so on inside the tabs. I only have simple buttons and sensor cards, so I will set preload to true. To add content to the different tabs, you just have to change out the default markdown card to something else. Simple tabs only support one card for each tab, but you can add a vertical stack, grid, or whatever else card that can house multiple cards. I've just created some sensor cards in a different tab, and will copy the whole code into the card of the first tab. Now I just need to select all the code I just pasted, and fix the indentation so it becomes a child of the first tab. I can again use a grid card inside the second tab to add multiple cards here as well. Now we can of course change the icon or title of each tab. To change the look and feel of the simple tabs card, there are a few options for customization. The first option is alignment. You can set it to start, center, or end to move the buttons. Next you can set the background color of the inactive tabs. I'll add another tab so you can see this a bit better. Next option is text color. This just changes the color of the text on the inactive tabs. Then it's the background color of the active tab. In all these examples, I use hex colors, but you could also use theme variables if you want to. Another neat thing about the background color options is that you can use a gradient. You can generate a CSS gradient and just paste the code instead of a color. You can also remove the icons if you don't want to use them. Or you can remove the title if you only want the icon. The newest feature I've been working on is conditional tabs. It allows you to show and hide tabs based on a Jinja template or an entity state. In this example, the first tab will only show up if this Jinja template returns true. Right now, the time is before 17, so it will be displayed. If I change it to be after 17, the first tab will be hidden. You can also use the state of an entity as the condition. You can stack conditions so more than one have to be true for the tab to show up. On mobile, if you have a lot of tabs, you will be able to scroll back and forth and the active tab will always be centered in the middle. And that's it for this video. I hope some of you find this useful. The dashboard tabs videos I've created earlier has been very popular, but those methods can be very tricky to set up and maintain. Hopefully this custom card that I've created can make the whole process a bit easier. You can read about my plans for the future on the GitHub page. I will be posting beta updates on the Discord server, so consider becoming a channel member so you can join. Videos will be uploaded more regularly going forward. Thanks for watching. Until next time.